I get so caught up in the middle Thinking of drowning in those blue eyes I'm losing sight cause I am falling I'm so deep down There we go. So now I have gloves. <laughs> Maiksi yung daliri ko. So, <laughs> ang haba ng gloves. Anyways, you have to use um, gloves that uh, hindi, na hindi kayang i-penetrate ng chemicals. So, these are latex rubber gloves. So, anyways, um, there are five steps in how I use my fungicide. So, ano yung first step? So, first step is wear my PPE. Ah, uh, syempre kailangan may akong complete na protective equipment. I have my gloves, I have my well, I'm wearing long sleeves, I'm wearing socks, why, and pants. Uh, these are waterproof pants. These are my golf pants. Um these this is waterproof, so hindi siya pinapasok ng water. Why am I using this? Because um some of the chemicals here, well, most of the chemicals here can actually uh, are actually skin irritants so it could um it could cause your skin to burn or get itchy and then magkakaroon siya ng parang rash or something like that so um medyo matapang ano yung mga chemicals na yan so ingat ingat lang tayo kaya nakan, makikita nyo po sa bottom no ayan makita nyo to wear your your PPE your clothes gloves masks ayan and then, ayan, makikita mo pati ito. This one, it means it's harmful to the um, aquatic marine life, no? So, yung mga runoff nito, let's say, nagdilig ka, and you're located in an area wherein you have um, a river or a creek or um, any body of water that goes straight to the rivers or the sea, this the run of the, of this one yung pinagtubigan mo na lumag na sumobra sobra or pinagtapuna mo ng sobra sobra can actually kill the marine life there that's why it's very important that we don't use it um rashly no wag tayong padalos-dalos sa paggamit ng mga chemicals sa to dahil ang laki ng ang laki ng repercussion niya uh, ng effect niya, not just to you but also the environment so, kaya ingat-ingat tayo so anyways, pero malaki kasi ang beneficyo ng paggamit ano, ng, ng fungicide so that's our step 1 uh, wear your PPE so step 2 is to make sure that you use your um, fungicides properly so ko ano yung um, ano yung uh, required amount niya yun lang yung gagamitin nyo. Katulad yung sinabi ko, no, yung, sa isang sachet, uh, itong isang sachet ito is for 16 liters. So, kailangan mo siyang i-divide para kung, kung gusto mong gumawa ng small amount, which is 1 liter or 1,000 ml. So, this one is total of 50 grams. So, point, parang something, give or take, ganun, mga 1 teaspoon din siya papatak, no? Ah, uh, 1 teaspoon din siyang papatak sa uh, measurement. So, let's say, ito, kuha tayo. Hmm, paano ka ba ito kukunin ng one finger? And then, wear, don't forget to wear your mask. And then, level teaspoon means flat siya. Ayan, flat. Oh, sobra pa. Ayan, flat siyang ganyan. Kasi, ang heaping is yung puno. Lagpas. So, since level lang, level teaspoon, and then you put in your water. This one, I close this one up again. And then I seal it with um, a scotch tape or a masking tape because the amoy is very strong. So, kailangan talagang super, ano ka, super careful ka. And then, this one, I mix it. Um, wait. I have a mixing tool here. Oh, kala mo naman ko anong tool, di ba? <laughs> this one is my mixing tool. I'll... There. I'll mix it. Until I don't see any powder left. So, importante talaga na naka-gloves tayo. Kasi mahahawakan mo. Or masaspill. Mag magaspill talaga minsan sa'yo yung ano, no? Yung chemical parang ano siya and then it turns kind of milky 
like that. So, ang next step natin, so ngayon meron na akong ano, di ba? Meron na akong um, solution. So, ngayon, I'll get some. Uh, when I'm treating, so step 3, start treatment. So, what I do is like this. Um, ginagawa ko po is that I water the plant completely. Uh, full drench ako ng water muna. Wait, ha? Ayan. So, I, I fully drench the water, uh, the, the plant. Ayan. So, after ko siya i-fully drench, saka ko siya ngayon lalagyan ng uh, follicle. So, ganun pa rin. Dito pa rin. Sa sa soil niya. Pero, pwede rin si Folicor as spray. So, pwede rin siyang as foliar spray. Actually, for fields talaga, ang, ang paggamit sa kanya is foliar. So, si spray mo siya. Um, but, since uh, I'm treating a plant, ginawa ko na lang siyang soil. Uh, pwede rin naman siya doon. Kasi, pwede nga rin siyang, if you're soaking seeds para hindi sila mag, uh, hindi magka-fungus yung germination seeds mo. You can also do that. So, pwede siya. Both ways. It's systemic naman siya. But for me, it works. Ito currently works. This setup currently works for me. Kung medyo, kung mali po ako, please let me know. <laughs> so, I can change it accordingly. Um, but for folicore, that's what I do. I, I spray and, pwede kong spray and pwede ko ring i- soil drench. Pero kapag kay dithane, ito naman siya. So, kung sa mga taong walang dithane, um, and then, napansin nyo, no, na nasa leaf pa lang yung uh, infection, this is what I do. So, like this one, um, tong si Fervel ko, sobrang love ko yan kasi ang taba-taba niya, tapos sobrang siksik na siya. Uh, and then, a couple of months ago, I noticed na nag- nagdol yung color niya. Biglang nawala yung kulay. Um, parang, uh, parang nag-bleach, ganun. Tapos sabi ko, ano kaya nangyayari? And then, dumapa yung mga leaves niya. So, nagulat ako. So, pag hot ako ng ganun, I noticed that, um, ayun, makita mo, may mga black spot siya sa ilalim ng leaf niya sa may base. Ayan. So, sabi ko, oh my goodness, it's fungal infection. So, ang ginawa ko, since nasa leaves pa lang naman siya, and hindi pa naman siya, uh, the stem looks okay. Again, you have to check the stem. Ayan. The stem looks okay. It's still green. It still looks healthy. So, ang ginawa ko is to go dithane naman. So, contact naman ako sa kanya. So, eto si dithane. Kukuha lang tayo. I'll show you how I mix it. Ganun din, lahat, si, uh, si dithane din, um, I use one level teaspoon. Yeah, slowly. Yan. One level teaspoon per one liter. So, what I do is, again, same thing. Make sure that my it's just level teaspoon. Mm -hmm. Ayan, ganyan. Ganyan to lang kakonti po. Hindi kasi, per, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na the more the better. Um, sa chemicals po na ganito, pag nasobrahan natin, pwede ikamatay ng halaman po natin. So, wag po tayong... mag overdose ika nga wag ho nating dagdagan thinking na ay parang kulang pa para malabno pa hindi po siya ganun we have to follow the instructions kung gaano kadami yung kailangan sa solution um, para tama yung maging effect niya dun sa halaman so yeah after that i put that kapag si dithane kapag ano po kapag ang gagamitin ko is contact fungicide like dithane what I use is my trusty pressure sprayer um sa chemicals po hindi ako gumagamit ako ng magkaibang um sprayer so pag fungicide ito gamit ko and then pag insecticide yung pop, isang, isang pressure sprayer yun, yung pump nyan bakit mas malaki yung 
yung insecticide kasi mas marami akong pest dito sa ano sa garden kasi sa harap tsaka sa likod grabe ang daming may mga season ako na mealybugs, ants um, pati yung mango tree sa likod ang daming langgam <laughs> kaya medyo mas kailangan kong mas malaking uh, pang insecticide so this one I pump ay sorry I forgot to shake 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 lang and then put it at the setting itong nozzle you put it in a setting na pinaka tight nya para naka mist mode sya and then pump away on the plant but just to mist it Yan, like that. Same with this one. I just missed. Parang pinapahanginan ko lang siya. Yan. Hindi siya, hindi masasoak yung plant. I don't wanna soak the plant because, one, I don't like the stains. Two, natatakot ako baka biglang, ano, biglang magkaroon ng chemical burns. So, what I do is, I just make sure I'm getting a little bit only on the leaves. Effective naman for me. Um, I do this kapag may infection only. Pero since gusto nyo makita kung paano ko ini-spray yan, like that lang. And make sure again, yung tama ng hangin, hindi papunta sa inyo. So, ngayong gabi, wala naman siyang any hangin. So, swerte ko naman. And I'm wearing goggles. I'm wearing my PPE. Uh, so, dire-diretso lang ako. So, yan. Makita nyo yung mist. Mist, 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 mist. Mist. Yan. So, walang direct. Um, hindi siya nakatutok dun sa halaman. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ayan, parang sila gym, no? Meron lang siyang slight na a uh, cover and meron na siyang shiny cover dun sa halaman and that will be enough to cover the plant and protect the plant and heal the plant if ever and if ever meron siyang sakit so if you can see the farewell ayan meron na siyang light coat and that's enough already for her. Hindi mo na siya kailangang, ano, hindi mo na siya kailangang, uh, yung tumutulong soaking siya na, uh, basang-basa, hindi naman kailangan. Um, pwede mo rin siyang, uh, hintayin na matuyo. Uh, minsan ginagawa ko, sa gabi, after ko mag-spray ng fungicide, I also, um, bring out an electric fan. So, nilalabas ko rin yung electric fan para um, matuyo agad yung fungicide sa leaves nila. And, um, again, I inspect all of my plants. Ayan, kung merong parang rust. Ito kasi parang nagkaka-rust siya. Ayan. So, lagyan din natin to ng um, pero matigas siya. Naglagay na kasi ako kahapon eh. So, kanyari, ayan, lagyan ko ng folicore. Lang dito lang din. Ayan. Like that. So, si folicore kasi cures uh, rust fungus. Kaya love na love ko si ano, si folicore. Kasi mahilig ako sa mga moon glow, tsaka sa mga tomentosa na mad, sobrang prone sa rust fungus. Ayan. Mga tomentosa, mga teddies, ganyan. Um, mahilig sa, mahilig ang rust fungus sa kanila. Kaya, folicore ang go-to ko na systemic. And then, dithane ang go-to ko for, uh, for contact. So, that's number three. Number four is to, yun nga, mag ipatuyo siya, make sure that it doesn't, uh, it will dry up fast, the chemical, so that the next day, uh, hindi ko muna siya paaarawan ng todo. Um, thankfully, I have two roofs over them and this type of sunlight is enough not to burn them. But ang ginagawa ko sa mga tin-treat ko, nilalagay ko sa area na walang, um, walang araw, buong araw. Well, nandito pa siya talaga sa shaded area. Itong aking 
uh, treatment facility. <laughs> treatment rack. Ayan, ganyan. Kasi ito mga to etiolated, tinamaan din ng fungus, bleaching, ayan, mga yan, bleaching. Uh, mga pasaway ko nandyan. Anyways, um, yun. So, there we go. That number five is to make sure that you leave the spot where, kunyari, nag-treat kayo ng buong garden nyo. The next day, wag muna kayo pumunta kasi active pa yung chem chemical doon sa halaman nyo. So, touching it could hurt you so or hurt your skin. So, skip a day in visiting them. Just make sure that they're protected and then iwan nyo muna sila. Um, and lastly, um, ako sa, sa uh, plants ko, hindi porket na-treat mo na once, eh gagaling na siya. So, I have noticed that I have to do several runs or several na re-entry ng kanilang, ng, uh, ika nga, kailangan ko siyang ulitin once a week for a couple of months, a month or two, like this one. I've been treating her for almost two months now. Kakastop ko lang kasi wala nang makikita ko na sa ibabaw. Well, nakikita ko pala. Nakikita ko sa ibabaw na wala na siyang any spots or fungal spots. So, clear na yung ano niya. Clear na yung new leaves niya. Makikita mo naman yung bagong leaves tsaka sa lumang leaves, diba? Ayan. Ito yung lumang leaves niya. Ito yung bagong leaves niya. So, that's two months worth of treatment. So, nakikita ko na effective na yung follicle sa kanya. Um, pwede na akong mag-stop-stop. Ginawa ka dito parang every other week na lang ako nag follicle sa kanya. Okay naman. Effective naman. And I don't see any signs na tatamaan siya ulit ng anytime soon. So, happy ako sa kanya. And at the same time, lahat na naging katabi niya, parang COVID lang, kailangan may contact tracing tayo. So, yung mga naging katabi niya, yun, pinapasadahan ko rin niya ng uh, fungicide. Kasi usually, yung mga ganyan, um, nahawakan ko na yan. <laughs> or na nahawa niya na yan kahit paano. Like, ito, si Elaine Rene, ayan, mga tanyo, no? Meron siyang konting konti lang naman, hindi siya ganun ka-aggressive, pero naglagas ng konti yung um, leaves niya. So, since katabi ni Elaine, si ano, so pati si Cristata, lalagyan ko na. Pero, yun nga, again, wash, uh, water it first, before you do that. It, ito kasi na kanina, nagtubig na ako kanina. So, pwede ko na silang lagyan. Ayun. So, bantay-bantay lang. And then, uh, what else? Yun, uh, please don't forget again that fungicides uh, are not to be used lightly. Uh, wag nating gawing parang hindi siya pwedeng makasakit sa atin because it can. So, just be careful in using them and make sure that you are using protective equipment for yourself and that there's no one, wala kang pets around the area wala kang, well, yung anak mo, hindi po punta dito sa garden mo for the next couple of days to make sure that hindi sila, uh, hindi kayo magkakaroon ng accidental poisoning. And please make sure that you put your, all of these um, chemicals away, keep it away from children and pets uh, because they're very toxic and they can poison our children, our dogs, our pets. So, be careful lang talaga when handling them. But, yun, um, malaking factor siya sa pangangailangan natin bilang gardener. So, ingat-ingat lang. And, um, next topic ko naman would be about uh, insecticides. So, how to use seven, how to use Starkology, uh, ano ba ba? Uh, na chemical. Ah, malathion, simbush, ayan, yung mga favorite ko. So, that will be another topic for another day. Uh, I can do that sa daytime. Uh, pwede naman ako mag-treat ng 7 sa umaga. Uh, Starkle G, pwede on the uh, daytime din. Pero fungicide kasi sa gabi talaga ako naglalagay kasi ayokong maka, para maka-avoid ng chemical burns. So, pinapapatuyuin ko na to. Papa-electric papa fanan ko na siya. And then, I'm gonna go to sleep. No, no, no. Take a bath pala after. So, after dealing with chemicals, syempre yung mist niyan maka napunta na sa hair mo. So, pag natulog ka, pwede pumunta sa mata mo or something, no? So, make sure that after you treat your plants uh, with fungicide, that you take a bath. 
Um, so I will now take a bath and sleep. So good night everyone and have a great night. Sweet dreams. Bye. I'll be your Carry all that you've got